So what I'm doing is I'm cutting up 16 ounces of white chocolate. I like to use good white chocolate, Belgian chocolate. And there are all kinds of methods for tempering. Forget it, I hate them all. I'm gonna do something really simple. So I'm gonna take three quarters of the white chocolate, put it in a bowl, and microwave it. And I'm gonna put the rest in later. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so 30 seconds in the microwave, then I'm gonna stir it another 30 seconds. See how it goes. Okay, that's 30 seconds. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stir it with a rubber spatula. Put it back for another 30 seconds and keep doing that. Heating it and stirring it. When the chocolate is just about melted, there's still little pieces in here. It'll keep melting. It's done. Just stirred vigorously, keeps it really nice and shiny and lowers the temperature. Perfect, now I'm gonna put the rest of the chocolate in. And what that's gonna do is very quickly lower the temperature of the warm chocolate. So basically we're tempering it, but it's a quick method. And if for any reason it doesn't completely melt, you can always just put it back in the microwave for a minute. No, for 10 seconds. Okay, I'm just gonna stir this in and let the residual heat of the chocolate melt it. Spread it lightly. It really doesn't have to be perfect. You want sort of a casual form. And that's the base to hold the fruit and nuts. Okay, so just about a half a cup of walnuts. Just sprinkle them on top. And they're just gonna get embedded in the surface of the chocolate. That's why it's important for the chocolate to be warm when you put it on. Just about a quarter of a cup of apricots. I'm just gonna chop them up. You can really use any kind of dried fruit or nuts that you like. I just like this combination. I'm gonna do apricots, because they're sweet, dried cranberries, which are tart. And I'm cutting them up so that the cranberries and the apricots are about the same size. Okay, just sprinkle these right on top of the white chocolate. See, it's important the texture and the color and the flavor, they all go together. Okay, now a quarter of a cup of dried cranberries for tartness. And look how colorful it looks. So it's delicious, it's colorful, and it's chocolate. And I'm gonna cut up the French chocolate bark into big shards and just put it in a dish. I like when it's sort of rough chopped. 